we two nine and this is Fat, Fat TV. TV. Motherfucker. Fat TV. I feel like it's just been bubbling, you know what I'm saying? Like, it started, well, for me, I feel like the the Broken Bougie era, era like, that's kind of where we met. And I feel like that era just started, was growing and growing. And then we all came together and we were mobbed to clubs and, you know, just also on our different shit than Atlanta is usually on with the strip clubs and, you know, in the clubs and throwing the club, popping bottles. Like, we just was, we brought our own element to it. Like, we would throw our own parties. Like, you know, we had the law parties. Uh, Light Skin Mac 11 would throw the, the law parties and, and all of Atlanta would come in, like the college kids. So it, it's kind of, it kind of was like a building thing. You know what I'm saying? And then like, I feel like now it's at the forefront because people are coming to Atlanta more like, seeing it. yeah, seeing it, a different scene. Then it's just like, oh, it's not just trap music. It's not just, you know Don't what I'm saying? Don't nobody run Atlanta, to be honest yeah. with you. It's just, Atlanta runs Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep moving. Yeah. People see it, people notice it now. So that's the only thing that's changed really. The people like this, it's been like that. Now it's like a lot of eyes on us. Before we was two nine, we were our own subgroups. Like me, Sushi had their thing going. Fat Kids had it. We had our shit going. Kurt always had what he was doing going. So it was it. it you just you brought it all together, and you can make whatever whatever we wanted. But you're still doing you. You still got your own group. Yeah, like I feel like in, in the studio, like we always at the studio every day with each other. So it's not like a competition, right? It's like if we do a song and Jace is there, I'm like, oh, Jace, like you gonna sound hard on this beat. Or if Jace got an idea, like, oh, I want y'all fat kids on this. Or, or if me and Jace go in or see him mix a beat, it's kind of just, it's like, I don't know, it just it's works. It's organic. It's organic. It's yeah, it's natural. Like, it's like, we don't really think about that push. Yeah. Like, it's just like how we how we kick it, how we are every day. It's masturbation. It's a flick of the wrist, man. It's, it's work that motherfucker, man. Yeah. Mike will fuck that beat. Fuck that beat. Our manager, B. Right, he uh, works for Mike. I think he does his marketing. He does his marketing. So, I mean, we, we got introduced to Mike. We became close friends, and we just... We ain't left his crib ever since. The first song that we did with him, it was actually with Jace and Curtis. It was uh, Where the Money At? And we were just like all in a tree sound and shit. Like just drunk as hell. Drunk as hell. Hennessy, we, we was just, you know, kicking it. It wasn't like no, no formal, like, hey, this is Mike Will, you are 2-9, let's make music. Like, we kind of just kicked it and then, you know, Curt and uh, Jace, they, they knocked out that uh, Where the Money At? And then after, after that, like, it just been. Been rolling ever yeah. since. His place is. That shit way out. Yeah. But he didn't kidnap the, you. He yeah, kidnap nah, you. he'll keep you trapped in his crib. But no, at the studio, just, he won't kidnap you. He just forget you was there. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this house big as shit. So <laughs> you just gotta know if you go over there, motherfucker, you might not know. Nobody know you there. He'll uh, just leave you downstairs. But otherwise, at the studio, <laughs> it'll be everybody there. But at Mike's house, ain't nobody there. Nah. You might just die down there, and nigga don't know. There. don't know. His mom is there, but. She, got she ain't not gonna say nothing. Right? She got her own portion of the house. That's crazy. Yeah. They don't yeah. see each other all the time. She might be surprised if she see you. Just be shocked. So 